My name is Erin Buttry and I teach kindergarten at Bland County Elementary. The activities that we purchased, um, for instance, I purchased um, different games that were hands-on for students and I also purchased centers that we could print off on. They had everything made and then we printed them off, laminated them, and put them in different containers based on the topics that we teach. So I have a sure. math unit and I have a reading unit. And with those, the kids are able to work in small groups or one-on-one -on -one and just reinforce the skills that we teach in class rather than it being just paper pencil they're getting those activities for centers that we do sure and for the level of readers that I was able to purchase um, it helps the students to be able to build as they as they're learning to read and then progress up as things um, get more challenging more difficult in their instructional reading levels I have those resources available for them so let's yeah. say that we're working on beginning sounds um, I may have a group where they're working on their Chromebooks with IXL and the beginning sounds, or they may have a worksheet where they're doing beginning sounds, and then they would come to my station where we use the resources that were purchased and they would have to match the pictures with the beginning sounds. And then each student, we would have a certain amount of time in this area or in the center, and then sure. we would rotate through so all students would be able to get that extra practice or they can take it back to their seats too. It just depends on the day and how the schedule's going. I, this is my first year in kindergarten. Yeah. And so I've taught fourth grade for uh -huh. 15 years. And so this was a big change, sure. but it was awesome to be able to come because when you have them in fourth grade, they have those skills already built. Right. But for kids to come in and they may not be able to write their name, right. or they may not know any letters or letter sounds to use these activities to help teach them. Yeah. Um, it's been really an awesome experience to be able to do that and just to see them learn and when they match the letters with the sounds or when they right. match the uppercase and the lowercase right. letters, it's just they're building the foundation for what they need for the future for their reading and uh, reading skills and um, mathematics skills that they're going to have and that they're going to carry with them. I am so super excited and thankful that I was able to receive a Quill grant and I hope to be able to do so in the future um, just to build on more resources because when I came to kindergarten I had all fourth grade material that I passed on to fourth grade when I left and so to come and to be able to have this financial support to help supply these needs for my classroom, that was a tremendous, tremendous help to be able to purchase these items, to use them in the classroom, and to see them help a child learn. Sure. I so appreciate the Quill Foundation and the work that they do to help teachers provide different resources to students that help them academically.